Hello lovelies, welcome to this weekly mini pick a card reading where I'm bringing through messages from your animal companions. So if you focus on the different cards to choose your reading to get those relevant messages for you, think about the animal companion that you want to hear from. This could be past or present. And that brings me to my next point where I just want to let you know that I'm offering readings with your animals companions where you can find out why they're in your life, what they're here to help you with what they might be mirroring about you. I'm also doing mediumship readings with the animals where you can ask your animal lots of questions or get their perspective on something that might be going on in your life or their life or you can connect with your animal on the other side if you've lost a beloved animal companion. I'm also doing animal energy therapies where I can help with clearing energy blockages that lead to behavioural problems, trauma that can lead to illness and physical symptoms and the energy therapies really help to promote your animal's health and well-being and it helps to assist them in healing themselves naturally. I'm also offering these services for you as well so check below the video for a link in the description box. Okay let's get on with the readings now. Number one, we have got, oh, I'm lost when you're not around. Oh, how sweet is that? Let's get a couple more cards from your animal companion. We've got, I don't like our schedule. So there's something going on in the schedule that they don't like. I'll come get into that in a bit more detail. I'm bored, please play with me. Okay, so we have got a little bit of a theme here cropping up Greek one. So... These two cards, I'm lost when you're not around and I'm bored, please play with me. I don't like our schedule as well. So there's something about the, um, like how you're, when you're at home, this is to do with when you're at home and when you are at home, the attention that you're paying to your animal companion. So it seems like they are missing you. They're not getting enough time, like quality time, where they're interacting with you because animals love that your attention, you know, they love they love it when we play with them. They love it when, when we give them our attention and love. So your animal is reaching out to you. And it's maybe, if you've, if you've got this card here, I don't like our schedule, maybe you've been busy quite a lot, Greek one. And so, you know, your animal is just saying, please make a little bit more time for me. Or it might be to do, with when you're feeding them maybe they're not happy with that schedule you know to do with the food so have a look at this have a look at what's going on between the two of you with your time at home with them when you're at home and when you're you're supplying them with their basic needs and if anything is out of alignment with that if something something can be done to improve that because they're giving quite a clear message here okay group one Right, let's turn over the next one for group two. I'd love to hang out with you. Ah, oh, so your animal companion wants to spend more time with you. That one has just jumped out. I feel on top of the world. That's a really positive sign from them to say that they're feeling really good and really healthy. I'm going to get one more. I like different health care. Oh, that's interesting. Let me get some message on there because there's something here that's conflicting where they're saying they feel on top of the world. So are you giving them something that they don't actually need? If they feel on top of the world and they're asking for different health care, have a look at what you're giving them. It might not be any related to medic anything medical drugs, you know. It could be if you're giving them a supplement or something like that that they don't actually need and they're asking for something different. So have a look at what you're giving them or not giving them. It may be that... I mean, in certain circumstances, if they've got a lot of energy, maybe too much energy, there may be something that you can give them that's natural that will help to balance that energy. But I do feel that this is relating to something that you're giving them that you may be adding to their diet, something like that, that they actually don't need. I'm not getting the message that there's a health problem here it's with that one coming out, that I think that they brought that out to tell you that they're absolutely fine. So if you are getting something with an extra a supplement in they're saying that they don't need it you know and it, and sometimes with certain sub supplements 
if we're giving, it's the same with humans, if we get too much of a certain thing, it can end up causing a problem. So have a look at that group too, okay? And then this other lovely message here, I'd love to hang out with you. They just want to spend a little bit more time with you, okay? So let's do group number three now. You make me so happy. Oh, what a lovely message from your animal companion, group three. They adore you. Whatever it is that you're doing in their life, they absolutely love. Right, we'll get a couple more cards. I'm lost when you're not around. Yeah, so this is an animal companion that is very close and connected to you, group three. And they really feel it when you're not there. The temperature isn't right for me. This is an interesting card, do you know what? I've had that a couple of times recently for Lily because she went into heat and I really I couldn't think what's what's wrong with the temperature because the house is a nice temperature at the moment and it, it's okay outside as well and I thought what does that mean and then I realized that she'd gone into heat heat <laughs> you know the hormones make them feel hot because it's the same with women I think the temperature rises doesn't it so if this relates to your animal companion and it's not to do with the external temperature or in the house or outside it might be a message that they're coming into heat or into season however it relates to your animal but if it is to do with the temperature then it's either going to be too hot or too cold for them so have a look at that and it might it could be in indoors or outdoors so just have a look at your situation so and I I am getting the feeling though group three that because I feel that this animal your animal companion is very connected to you and it might be that you've been picking up on something from them to do with this temperature card okay so trust yourself trust what you're getting okay so let's do group number four now Something you give me doesn't agree with me. Okay, we'll see what else we get here. That's most likely something diet related. We have got, I want to, want to spend more time inside. I'm getting the feeling that this is a very sensitive animal. Very, very sensitive. I need a brush or a wash. Okay, so that's interesting. That's come out next to this card if this is an animal that spends a lot of time outside they're actually saying they want to be inside more they need some attention with regards to their coat it may be maybe it's getting knotted up or they, if they're outside a lot they could be getting bits stuck in their fur I got this with Toby the other day because he had all these bits stuck in he's got long he's got long hair long haired cat so yeah he got all these bits stuck in his fur and he ended up with some knots a few months ago that I couldn't get out because there was bits in his fur that just ended up getting knotted so be aware of that with your animal that they might need a brush or a wash you know have a look at their fur especially if they're spending a lot of time outside so they're asking to be inside a lot more okay and if something that you give me doesn't agree with me I do feel that this is related to their diet, to their food. Um, have a look at the ingredients of what you're feeding them. If you're giving them dried food, it is not the best. I'm not judging anyone, but it isn't a natural type of food that animals would, would eat. It's like feeding biscuits to kids all the time, cookies, you know. It's not he healthy for them at all. Very small amounts or as treats is okay, but um, I wouldn't feed an animal on you know constantly on dried food so have a look at the diet if it's commercial pet food I mean I wouldn't give that to an animal companion either it's very toxic a lot of it causes health problems so just have a look at what you're feeding them group for okay I really hope that that's been useful for you thank you for listening and have a lovely day